Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this rainy day installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Getting started, uh, I don't know, a few minutes late here as we're dealing with... Uh, actually I actually had a shower, a rain shower coming over. Now a wreck out on the highway. And uh, so I was trying to let that pass since we're sitting under a tin roof. But it didn't want to. So it's like, you know what, we're going with it. It's what happens. It rains sometimes. How was your weekend? I trust that it was good, productive, restful, and gave you a chance to pour some into some important relationships. We're going to talk a little bit about that today and this week, I believe. I think that's uh, that's what we've got lined up there. So good morning, Jeremy. Thank you for being here, as Jeremy did. When you join, if you will leave your name... Or you don't have to leave your name. Facebook does that for you. Just leave me a comment down below. Live or on the replay, doesn't matter. Uh, drop a comment down there. Let's me know that you were here. And tells Facebook you want to keep up with the comments. Also, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher and you didn't know this already, you can watch the show live on Facebook. Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. Get you to the right page. We would love, love, love for you to join the conversation with us live every morning, 7 a.m. Central. All right, so the uh, the important thing that we don't talk about enough, I think that was the title that I used this morning, and I alluded to it briefly in the intro, is relationships. It's one of the seven aspects of life that uh, that play into having a well-rounded, well-balanced, happy, healthy, balanced life is our relationships. And man, are there a ton of different facets to this topic. Just think about this for just a second. As you're listening to this, it's a good exercise for for your journaling time if you haven't done that already, or maybe save it for tomorrow. But think about this. How many different roles do you play in your life? Now, I'm going to name some off for me, but I know I'm going to miss some. So I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm an uncle, I'm a son, I'm an employer. Uh, lots of different roles, right? So think about all those different roles. And then think about the nature of the relationship between you and the other people that you interact with in those roles. Right, so now you begin to see, when you think about it in those terms, you begin to see some of the complexity that goes along with the different relationships in our lives. And when we talk about, you know, something we don't talk nearly enough about, when we're talking about success and obstacles and support, especially, uh, even building your business as the rain picks up here a little bit, um, those relationships are where you find your greatest source of strength. They can be your greatest source of strength. They can also be your demise. You have to, have to, have to, have to pay attention to relationships and invest equally in the relationships. God, I hate to say this, but it's true. Invest equally in the relationship related to what you expect to get from the relationship. And I'll, I'll say it this way. This is kind of the path I was going when I brought that up. If you think this relation, if you don't put much into this relationship, don't come back later and expect to get something out. You know, I was thinking over the weekend that uh, there are a lot of people that don't really like multi-level marketing. I personally am a fan, but we'll talk about that another day. One of the reasons they don't like it is because one of the first things your upline, your sponsor, will tell you to do is call all your friends and family and tell them about this new project you've got going on. They'll, they'll be anxious to support you. And then we go out and call up people we hadn't talked to in 10 years and say, hey man, how you doing? You want to buy my stuff? No, I don't want to buy your stuff. <laughs> you don't think enough. I mean, so see, I mean, that's kind of the point. Don't expect a lot out of a relationship if you don't put a lot into the relationship. And we think about this a lot. We hear that kind of admonition a lot when we're thinking about, um, like, our marriage, right? Those those close personal relationships. 
But you've also got to put the same kind of effort into the relationships that you find in every one of those roles around you. Right? Just think about those roles and how you can, in that role, put more into the relationships uh, today. And I told you before, I got a little sticky uh, on my desk. How can I add more value to the people around me today? Think about the relationships this way. How can I add more value in this role today? Answer that question. We're going to keep digging into relationships this week. Maybe the rain will have let up by tomorrow. uh, And I don't have such wonderful background sounds. Uh, Joe says relationship quality is just like a workout. Absolutely. You get out of it what you put into it. That is 110% correct. I've got a helper that's about to join me on the couch. Come up here. She doesn't like the rain a whole lot. Actually, it's the thunder. She doesn't mind the rain. It's the thunder that she doesn't care for. She likes a little, a little care and love when it's uh, ugly outside. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You take care.